Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you the process of how I blog a wedding so quickly and efficiently. Um, as you can tell, this is not a wedding. This is a recent engagement shoot. Um, I actually don't have any raw files kicking around for weddings. Usually once they're edited, I've never had a need for my raw files. So this is a recent shoot from two days ago that I'm going to show you the exact same process. So first of all, this is a program called Photo Mechanic. I love it. I use it for all of my culling. It's so much faster than Lightroom, although I still edit in Lightroom. So first things first, these are all your raw images from a shoot. As you can see, I have 720, which is around average between like 400 and 700. I'll shoot for an engagement session, I guess. So we're going to start by using this magnifying glass, and we're going to go through the images one by one, and you're going to select which ones you'd like to keep. So I'm doing this here, and I go through pretty quickly. I like that one. These are all pretty similar. I love that one. Because I've looked at these before, I know that there's like a sequence here that I really like. I just think that's super fun. So therefore, you're going to go through the exact same way all the way to the end of your images. So for an engagement shoot, I have the 700. For a wedding, I might have 2,000 myself, 1,000 for my second shooter. So we're going to do all of that. Once they're all tagged, there's this handy feature over here. This little button with the dots means that it's going to hide everything but the colors you've tagged. Now, we've only used the pink color, so this works out well for us. So we're going to hit this button. Boom, all these images are here. You can see the number of pics I have, 117. So now these, for an example of an engagement shoot, this is everything I'm gonna to deliver to the client. So for a wedding, uh, there might be 600, 800 images total. So that's awesome, but now we have to go through and decide which one's for the blog. So for this, I'm gonna open them all back up again. And I'm not gonna open them individually because I know now that all of these images are good. And so what I'm going to do is just go through in the thumbnails like this, and I'm going to use the two key and decide which, for an engagement shoot, which of about 30 to 40 images I'd like to blog. So I'm going to use number two, which will turn these red. So I'm going to use these images. Love this one of them laughing. Go through like this, get a variety. So I did this really quickly just because I've been doing it for a long time. I really know what images I like to blog and which ones I like to showcase. So let's just say, for example, we have all of these images here, and I'm just going to select one more for you. So we're going to hide again. Now to hide this, we've already hid everything that's not tagged. We're going to hide the pink ones, leaving the red ones remaining. So for an engagement shoot, as I mentioned, there'd probably be about 30 images left, but I've just shown nine for the purpose of this video. So now what we've done, and if this is a wedding, I'd have between 50 and 80 images. So I'm going to take these, and I'm just going to drag them right into the Lightroom app. So I'm going to open up Lightroom here. So we've dragged these images into Lightroom. So now what we're going to do is apply just your basic color preset. I have one that I like to use on all of my images as a starting point, and some basic metadata information. So I'm going to go down here to Import, Import with those uh, presets on there. And now what we're going to need to do, say there was 80 images for your wedding. I mean, in this case, there's only nine. But what we're going to do is we're going to select all by just doing Command A and then go up to Library, Previews, Build One-to-One -one Previews. So what this means is you don't have to open up every image and wait for it to load if you do this ahead of time. So if you have 80 wedding images, I would set this and I would start writing a blog post, walk away from the computer, and come back when it's done because it really just makes the most sense. So now what we're going to do here is I open this image up once they're done in the develop tab and I'm just going to give that a second to load here and then you can just see some really basic edits that I would do is probably a little bit of contrast and exposure and then maybe make it a little bit warmer because I really like that in images and then that would be good so once I go through all the images I'd select them and then I file export and I export them for my blog as JPEGs and we drag them in and the blog post is done thanks so much for watching guys let me know if you have any questions